Trek, and today we're at the Sun River Fire Department here in Sun River, Oregon. Guess what? We get to tour a fire station in a real big fire truck. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. Let's go. Oh boy, wow, they've got two ambulances, they've got a brush truck, a couple main fire engines, and a big ladder truck that we're going to get to look at in a little bit. But first, let's go take a tour of this fire station. Come on, let's explore. Wow, hey, look at over here. Ooh, this is the day lounge area. This is where they get to take a break and relax after a hard day's work. Ooh, they each have their own lazy boy. That's nice and cozy. Wow. Ooh, look over here. This is their dining room table. This is where all the firefighters can come and share a meal together. Oh, wow, look at us. We're actually eating with the firefighters. Oh, boy. And look over here. Ooh, this is the kitchen. Oh, this is where the firefighters make all their yummy food. Because when you're working so hard and burning lots of calories, you definitely got to fuel your belly. Wow, hey, what you making over here? Oh, he's making breakfast. It looks like he's about to make waffles and eggs and mashed potatoes. Oh, yummy, yummy. Wow, let's go check out more of the station. Oh, whoa, this is a big bathroom. Whoa, and they've got a shower in here. Lots of space to dance around and sing. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, and a washer and dryer so they can wash all their clothes. Wow, look at over here. This is a dormitory for a firefighter. They get to sleep here and relax. And even this firefighter made it all cozy with a nice personal quilt and everything. <laughs> oh boy, I sure love it. That looks really fun and cozy. <laughs> okay, well guess what? I think it's time that we go try on a firefighter suit, and then explore a fire engine. Are you excited? Let's go. you got to stay really fit. So we're going to do some push-ups just to make sure we're ready to fight some fires and save the day. Are you guys ready? Let's do Let's this. Let's go. Oh boy. Let's count together. One, two, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh boy. These guys sure are strong. Man, Wow, thank you, heroes. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Let's go try on a firefighting suit. Whoa, look at all this gear. Wow, this material is really nice and fireproof so the firefighters stay safe. Ooh, I think I should try it on. That way I'll feel like a real firefighter. Oh boy. <laughs> Check out a big fire engine. Let's go. Whoa, this is a ladder fire engine. Oh my goodness. Come on, let's go to the front of the truck. Whoa, it's so big. Hey, you know what color this fire truck is? It's red. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Oh boy. Ooh, here's the front seat. Check this out. Whoa. Hey, this is where the 
the captain sits, and the captain tells us where we got to go and how we're about to go approach the fire. Oh boy, and look at this right here. This is an air pack. Wow, you can, they have these now inside of the seat so that you can put it on if you're in a real big hurry. We gotta get to the fire, quick, quick, quick. Oh. You can put this on and then you put the mask on so you can start breathing in air so you can uh, go into a fire and fight the fire because there's no air in the fire. Wow, let's take a look further back. Hey, whoa, look in here. Wow, this is where all the firefighters can sit. Oh, you want to climb in here and sit here with me? Oh, oh boy. Whoa, one, two, three, four, five, six. There are going to be six firefighters in this engine. Wow, and look at this. This right here is called a thermal imager. When you point this at something, it shows you where heat is in the house. And since a body has heat in it, it can tell you where, you're, where a person is, if there's any people left in the house or a building, and it can tell you where there's a fire so you know where to stare clear of or where to put out a fire. Isn't that cool? <laughs> oh boy, let's keep exploring. This right here is an exhaust hose. And you can hook it right up to this exhaust so that when the engine's running inside the bay here, it keeps the air clean inside so it filters right out of the building. Isn't that neat? Wow, oh, now let's look at some of these compartments. Ooh, this right here, this is fire extinguishers. How many are there? One, two, three, four. Oh boy. And then this right here, Wow, RIT, which stands for Rapid Intervention Team. What that means is, is when one of your team members, one of the firefighters goes down, this is all the equipment you'll need to help them in need. Need, need, need. Isn't that cool? <laughs> okay. Ooh, what else can we find here? Ooh, let's check out what's back here. Ooh. Whoa, this is under over 600 feet of hose. And this right here attaches to a fire hydrant once you've arrived at the fire scene. Wow, that's pretty cool. Wow, and check out all these ladders. You never know what kind of fire scene you're going to come on, so you got to be prepared. Oh, let's check out what's in here. Oh boy, this right here is a circ saw, and it can cut through metal. Just in case they got to cut a hole into a roof or something to help ventilate the house. Wow. Ooh, what's in here? Whoa, check out all these big tools. We've got an ax, sledgehammer, bolt cutters. Oh boy, you never know what you're gonna need to do when you arrive at a fire scene, so they're really prepared. Whoa, look at over here. This is the pump panel. It controls how much water is being let out of this fire engine into all the different hoses because you saw there are hoses all over this fire truck. Guess what? This fire truck can hold 500 gallons of water. <gasps> Isn't that so crazy? And look at over here. This attaches to the fire hydrant so when water is coming into the fire truck, they can control where all that water disperses. <gasps> Ooh, this is yellow. White, gray, purple, red, orange, blue, and green. <laughs> oh, that sure is a pretty pump panel. <gasps> Whoa, hey, look at this. This is my friend, he's Firefighter Bob. Hi guys. Wow, and guess what? We're gonna pull this fire truck out of the bay and take a look. Come on, let's do it. All right, let's go.
they're putting the stabilizer legs out to set up so we can go in the ladder. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Did you notice it's snowing? Oh, I love the snow. the ladder extended let's climb up there and check it out come on sure is handy to reach high places that are dangerous. Wow. Hey, you want to hear the fire bell? <laughs> rescue team for letting me explore and check out your fire station I had a blast if you like this video go ahead and subscribe for more adventures see you later bye bye <laughs>
and some rocks. Oh boy. Well, that doesn't really work. So we're gonna have to make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so we gotta keep rolling it. Oh, roll it all the way over to our base over here. Oh, then we gotta be strong and pick it up. There we go. Try to smooth it out a little bit. Wow, look at this. That's kind of a snowman. Oh boy, what do you think? Looks like Olaf, because there's only two parts. All right, well now we have a carrot. We can grab it in there. Look at that, an orange carrot for his nose. And we've got two rocks that we can use for the eyes. Oh, let's turn it around. There's one eye. Oh, two eyes. Well, now we need a mouth. Let's try to look for a stick or something. You gotta hunt and get creative. Ooh. Oh, this might work. Let's try this. Okay, oh, don't go anywhere, snowman. <laughs> Look at our silly snowman. Oh boy. Making a snowman can be kind of tricky, depending on the texture of the snow. <gasps> oh boy, look out, get out of the way. <laughs> family's house. Can you say hi, Axel? Hi. Wowee. You're really good at riding that sled. Hey, do you want to go up there and race me again? Uh, let's do it. <laughs> to make a yummy snow treat. Come on, let's follow him. Wow, okay Axel, so what do we do here? What do we have? All you need is syrup, spoons, and a good belt bowl of snow. Nice, okay, let's get some snow. I'll hold this. Do you guys like to eat snow? We love eating snow. We're making our own snow cones. All right. Okay. Now that we've got a big bowl of snow, then what do we do with this? Pour syrup on it. Yummy. Snow cone to syrupy snow cone. Open the cap. Ooh. Look at that. He's just drizzling it right over the snow. Oh, wow. That's probably good enough, right? Ooh. There. Yummy! All right. Now it's the real time to taste that. All right. Here we go. You got a spoonful? Yep. Mmm. That is really, really good. Wow. Well, we'll be here eating this all day. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We don't want to get a tummy ache. Hey, do you want to check out our snow before at Rocky Rock? Sure! <laughs> oh, boy. Me too. Oh, right there. Whoa. Aren't they going to fit in my It's a monster truck snow fort. Ooh, a monster truck snow fort. I just love monster trucks. You know, it's, it's a parking lot for monster trucks. It's a parking lot for monster trucks. They can live in there and not get snowed in. <laughs> Whoa, look at this cool snow tunnel. Did you make this, Axel? 
Me and my dad. You and your dad made this? Yeah. Whoa, wee. Oh, let's crawl through it. Whoa, even I can fit through this. Wow. Well, hey boys, can I watch you guys do some more sled runs? Okay, let's do it. Do you want to race again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, Miles and Axel, are you guys ready? Yeah. On your mark, get set, go. Whoa. Wow, get back on. Woo! Go, Axel, go. Whoa. <laughs> Look at that. They both just went right over that jump. Wowee! Well, we sure had a lot of fun playing in the snow and going on sled runs, huh, guys? Yep. Wow. Well, thanks a lot for joining us. We'll see you on the next adventure. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.